Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University and Defenders, issue number eight. So we start off with what's probably the best opening page I've ever seen that gives the recap of everything. It's the Punisher, all beat the hell up. And the cops are talking to him saying, hey, well, you know, this happened and this happened. That's why you're here and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it wasn't funny. Well, it wasn't particularly funny. It wasn't whatever. It was just, it made sense. It was like it was actually a part of the comic book instead of, okay, let's read this. Remember what happened. Any little detail that we need to remember to move on with the story. And then we'll start with the story. No, no, no. This was actually a part of the story. And that was so cool. I dug that. And it was just so organic. Uh, just, Wow. Awesome. Okay, now on to page two. <laughs> I really feel like I could just break this down by page. So, uh, Willis Stryker, Diamondback, recounts the story about how he and, go figure, uh, Luke Cage were actually in the room when Don Rigoletto was killed by the Kingpin, when Wilson Fisk himself actually became the new Don. He became the Kingpin of New York City. Uh, wow. Uh, great piece of retcon history there. Frig yeah. So these guys, man, uh, basically Diamondback is trying to recruit Hammerhead's old gang, but it turns out that Red Hood is still alive. And well, of course he's alive, but he's actually going to bring a Norn stone of resurrection to Hammerhead, puts it in his head and boom, he opens up. He's alive again. He's like, yeah, you owe me now. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm the new Kingpin of New York. Remember that I just ca uh, saved your life and he leaves. Dude. <laughs> The, the Hood? Uh, did I say Red Hood? I may have said Red Hood. My bad. He's Red, and his name is The Hood. <laughs> Parker Robbins. Anyway, so The Hood is now on the loose. He's kicking some booty. So, uh, and meanwhile, Daredevil actually reveals his secret identity to the rest of the Avengers. That was cool. Oh, Diamondback at one point mentions, yeah, the uh, Defenders. Oh, yeah, no, not the other team with the Gargoyle. No, this is a different team. <laughs> I love that they did that. That was just great. So a whole bunch of things happen here where basically they're, they're trying to figure out every little detail of what's going on, but they're still kind of in the background a little bit. But somebody goes and leaves a, a secret message inside of Luke Cage's burger. I, it sounds dumb, but it just, it worked, guys. I'm telling you, it worked in the comic. And he looks at it and says that, you know, Parker Robbins is still alive. So, oh man, with the hood out now, all of a sudden involved in this, the story's just going to get bigger and bigger. And the problem that I have with, the only problem I have with this, is Brian Michael Bendis is leaving. So what does that really leave with the comic book? That just, oh man. And also he's sick. So uh, he's getting better. Like he's telling us on Twitter that he's cool. And I'm glad because, just, wow, poor freaking guy. All the crap he's had to deal with, uh, to say the least of, you know, so-called fans. <laughs> but this was a great comic book. This is easily one of the best continuing series is that, the, that Marvel has right now, and they're letting Brian Michael Bendis go, went and signed, a, I think it was a three-year deal with DC. And there was a hint in here, I think, there was a part where Deadpool, yeah, he was in here too, where Deadpool, and, and he's written so well. But anyways, Deadpool uh, makes mention of, hey, let's all go take a shower in Teen Titans, ta in, you know, the Titans Tower. Uh, does that mean that Brian Michael Bendis is going off to write Teen Titans now? The um, Holy crap! Do you know how freaking cool that would be if he was going to be writing for the Teen Titans? I'm so down with that. And I think you heard it here first. It depends on when I put this video out. But, oh, man, I love this comic book. I love every single thing about this, except for the fact that every issue I read brings us closer to the last issue that Michael Bendis is writing. Anyway, I'm giving this an A. Such an amazing comic book. I love this. This is great in every regards. Ugh. Guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Uh, why is he leaving? Class dismissed.